Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will discuss about Maxwell's equation. This entire subject of electromagnetic field theory is based on Maxwell's four equation only. In this video, I will explain Maxwell's four equation with integral form and with differential form. Differential form is also known as point form. Here we have four equations with Maxwell. First equation is based on Gauss's law for electric field. Second equation is based on Gauss's law for magnetic field. Third equation is based on Faraday's law and potential. And fourth equation is based on Ampere circuit law. Here, first and second equation, first and second equation that is based on non-time varying field. And this third and fourth equation that is based on time varying field. In this video, I'll explain all four equations with integral and with differential form as well as I'll explain it with respect to time varying and non-time varying field. So let us see Maxwell's first equation that is based on Gauss's law for electric field. First of all, one should know what is Gauss's law for electric field. See Gauss's law for electric field that explains amount of flux passing through closed surface. Amount of flux passing through closed surface is based on charge within and closed surface, right? So Gauss's law for electric field that explains existence of electric flux passing through closed surface that is possible only if there is charge within it. Like if we have enclosed surface over here, and as if charge is there inside this enclosed surface, then only there is resultant electric flux that is passing through this enclosed surface. And here integral form of Maxwell's first equation, that is total flux passing through enclosed surface that is charged within it. See, there are two ways to represent it. If you represent flux by d dot ds, then that is equals to charge. But if you represent flux in terms of electric field means E dot ds, then that is charge divided by epsilon naught. And these two equations, those are similar equation. There is no difference in between that. See, D is electric flux density and E is electric field. And one should know the relation in between D and E. E is equals to epsilon d and based on that here I have divided epsilon naught over here. If we have medium then here q divided by epsilon naught epsilon r that you need to do but for air epsilon r is equals to 1. If you talk about differential form or one can say point form then that is del dot d is equals to rho v or one can say del dot e is equals to rho v by epsilon naught right. So that is how we have first equation of Maxwell that is based on Gauss's law for electric field. And remember this first equation that is therefore non-time varying field, right? Now I will explain Maxwell's second equation that is based on Gauss's law for magnetic field. See Gauss's law for magnetic field is based on calculation of total flux passing through enclosed surface and one should know total flux passing through enclosed surface with magnetic flux we have total zero flux right so here when you talk about magnetic flux then that is zero for enclosed surface so here if you have magnetic field that is acting like this and if we have closed body over here then through closed body, total magnetic flux will be zero. If you observe over this side, we have magnetic field lines that is entering to the body. And one should know entering flux that is negative. And over this side, magnetic field lines that is leaving the body. One should know leaving flux that is positive. So in total flux passing through this closed body that is zero. And here we are talking about magnetic flux. So Maxwell's second equation that is based on Gauss's law for magnetic field which states that for closed surface 
magnetic flux is zero means it explains there is no existence of magnetic monopole there is no existence of magnetic monopole means always there will be north and south pole together means magnetic field lines that will be always there in enclosed loop magnetic field lines that is getting emerged from the north pole and that is getting enclosed to south pole right if you observe integral form then that states that for closed surface magnetic flux is zero magnetic flux means integration of bds for closed surface it is zero and in differential form or one can say in point form divergence of magnetic field that is zero so that is maxwell's second equation and one should know this maxwell's second equation that is also applicable to non time varying field right now i will explain maxwell's third equation that is applicable to time varying and non time varying field that is based on faraday's law and definition of potential let me explain that with respect to non time varying field first so for non time varying field potential in closed path that is zero for non time varying field potential in closed path is zero right what is potential potential is integration of electric field with respect to line for closed path it is zero and in differential form or one can say in point form curl of electric field that is zero right so this is maxwell's third equation for non time varying field for time varying field you need to understand faraday's law see in time varying field here there will be variation in magnetic field with respect to time and based on variation in magnetic field with respect to time there will be generation of potential as per faraday's law so for time varying field change in magnetic field generates electric field and because of which there will be induced emf if you observe integral form then that states that here we have potential that is line integration of electric field that is rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time magnetic flux is surface integration of magnetic field if you change magnetic flux then it will generate induced emf right so here line integration of electric field that is negative of rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time where magnetic flux is surface integration of magnetic field right and in differential form or in point form one can say curl of electric field that is rate of change of magnetic field with respect to time right so maxwell's third equation that is based on non time varying and time varying field in time varying field there will be induced emf because of change in magnetic field with respect to time so that is how equations are there right now i'll explain maxwell's fourth equation that is based on ampere circuit law see in maxwell's fourth equation as per ampere circuit law there will be generation of electric current because of magnetic field in closed path as well as there can be electric current due to change in electric field let me explain that by equation see here in integral form if you integrate magnetic field intensity with respect to line then that will be conduction current plus differential current see current definition that is as per surface integration of current charge density so here conduction current that is surface integration of conduction current charge density and this differential current that is surface integration of differential current charge density so here there will be current passing through wire because of magnetic field in closed path in differential form del cross h that is equals to jc plus jd here this jd that is happening because of time varying field if you want to understand the calculation of differential current charge density then that is epsilon not into del e by del t so this differential current charge density that is generated because of rate of change of electric field with respect to time 
So Maxwell's fourth equation that is based on ampere circuit law which explains electric current in wire due to magnetic field in closed path as well as due to change in electric field. I hope now you are having fair enough idea about how Maxwell's four equations are there. Still if any confusion is there then just post that in comment section I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.